Hi everyone, I am Dr. Srinivas Bhutla, Senior Consultant Neurosurgeon at Yashoda Super Specialty Hospitals, Malakpet. Brain stroke is one of the common conditions we attend to in our day-to-day -day practice. Brain stroke is of two types, primarily. One is ischemic stroke and the other one is hemorrhagic stroke. In ischemic stroke, a blood vessel within the brain gets blocked, thereby a part of the brain will not receive blood supply and gets damaged. This is called infarction. Depending on the location of the block, whether it is in the beginning or at the end, and whether one vessel is blocked or more than one vessel are blocked, the area of the brain that gets damaged will increase. So the other one is hemorrhagic stroke. In hemorrhagic stroke, a blood vessel within the brain ruptures thereby leaking blood into the brain tissue and damaging that part of the brain tissue. Along with that because of the pressure from the expanding hemorrhage within the brain the adjacent part of the brain also gets damaged. Whether it is ischemic stroke or hemorrhagic stroke the symptoms usually are weakness in the hand or leg or both hand and leg depending on the area of the brain that got damaged. And coming to the treatment of these brain strokes, the ischemic stroke primarily it is treated by medicines. However, if the extent of brain damage is more, there can be lot of edema within the brain resulting in swelling of the brain. In these cases, only medicines may not work. Surgery may need to be done called decompressive craniotomy to relieve the brain from the pressure. Whereas in hemorrhagic stroke, because of the pressure from the expanding hemorrhage, the brain will be swollen and this also requires decompressive craniotomy if the hematoma is large. So in these cases, decompressive craniotomy along with the evacuation of the hemorrhage is done.